Yo guys, it's Chris here, back in another video, and today we are going to be getting the new 2019 Hyundai Veloster Turbo and the Veloster N. So I'm going to keep their stock, keep everything stock basically. Uh, this is the last Veloster we had, 2013. Um, looking at the improvements, uh, you're going to see here, back in 2013 we had 201 horsepower, the new one. Uh, has 250 horsepower and the N has 270 horsepower and they both have 260 uh, torque basically and this one had 195 so we are already doing good there uh, specs wise 2767 pounds and we're actually up in the 3000s here so the N is a little bit heavier but has more weight so that's gonna be interesting to see they are all front wheel drive uh, but we're gonna be focusing on these two today so yeah pretty good cars to come out of the board with uh, 6.2 speed um, probably see these I think are these part of yes they're part of the hot hatch so I think this would be really good now in the hot hatch hopper Say that three times. So yeah, we're gonna keep everything stock. We're gonna look at the available options, uh, and then I'm gonna test it on track. As you can see, there's already a lot of designs, but I'm just gonna keep it. Uh, these are the options we have here. I, I like that red. Yellow is nice too. Oh, that blue. I don't know about that green. I really like that blue, but I like the white too. All right, I'm gonna stick with the white for the, the plain turbo for now. Uh, so that is what we get on this. You get 40 points as well, which is pretty cool, I guess. Uh, toward your, I don't know what it's called, car collection, I, I believe what it's called. Um, so let's go ahead and see what we can actually do with this. Remember, I'm not doing anything, but let's see. So we can put a 3.7 liter V6 in here, and that'd probably be pretty cool. I don't know. And let's not even go to the turbo rally engine. Uh, so yeah, we're just gonna keep it stock right now. Uh, on the engine looking at arrow we have the forza bumper i'm trying to see if there's i, I doubt there's going to be any anything that we can put on that is going to be like part of the car not just forza stuff so um obviously i'm not i'm keeping everything stock so yeah that's basically all we can do with it okay so yeah once again with this car weighs a little bit more but has more horsepower uh and i really like that red that red is clean we're going for eh the red's more clean. You you could see the uh, the black trim and everything better. I like the rims on this one too. I really think these are really good cars. Um, you know, Hyundai they are kind of respected in the car community because they didn't really have anything to offer until the Genesis, uh, the Turbo Genesis, and now the uh, Veloster and Veloster N. So this is gonna be really good. Now um, let's see what the available options are for the Veloster in and the upgrade shop probably the same engines yes the same engines and yeah there's not gonna be anything here you'll see this this already has a wing on it oh yeah we can go double wing on there but we're not gonna do that so yeah I'm gonna go test drive both these cars make your prediction because it's only 20 horsepower difference but it's 200 pound difference so which one do you think is gonna do better on the track uh, I'm gonna vote for the Veloster N just because I think horsepower is gonna mean a little bit more uh, than weight will. I'm not sure if it will, but that's just my opinion. Uh, so yeah, we're gonna get the test drive here. The sound of both these cars compare that. Um, I'm not, I haven't played this game in a while, so let's keep that in mind. I'm just gonna do uh, one lap race around. Uh, let's do Dubai. How about that? We'll do one lap around the Dubai. All right, so we're gonna be able to hear what this sounds like. We're going for the Veloster in first. So remember we have a turbo on this thing. So let's keep that in mind. I don't know, I don't know what it's, I don't know what it's gonna sound like. I don't know how front wheel drive is gonna handle either. Uh, yes, that's the ginger red man. Let's hear it. All right, let's look at the inside. Oh, that is nice. Looks like 2019. I probably shouldn't have did all these cars. Yeah, but overall it looks like a really nice car. I really do like this. All right, so we need to get past these AI here. I'm just trying to set a time. 
Uh, so it's gonna be the it's gonna be the same for both of the cars uh, and where we're starting and the AI we're facing. Uh, so yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll have to see that overall. I mean, it's front wheel drive, so it does turn a little bit weird. Like it's hard to correct. Uh, but overall, I feel like it handles good. The brakes aren't very good at all. I was braking for a while there and nothing happened. Um, acceleration isn't the best either. But it, I really, it feels good around the corners. Like in these situations, like right over here, like, like see if we got a lot more speed than, than we would have in a different car. But yeah, look at the brake. I mean, okay, but I guess you can argue, if you put, I don't know, what is, I think this car was C class. If this would be perfect for the A class because you would just upgrade the brakes. You would add a little bit more horsepower. And uh, you'd put better tires on it. And I think this would probably be probably be the best A class sod hatch. I'm not, I'm not sure. But it probably would be. Uh, considering the fact that this is already pretty good at C class. C, we're passing an NSX here. Uh, who would have thought? Overall, it's a pretty clean car too. All right, so we got 144, 113 in a Veloster N. So now I'm gonna go and switch to the Veloster Turbo and see what kind of time we can get with that. All right, so I guess we'll see. I don't think it's going to sound any different. Uh, who knows, there could be a different exhaust. I, I doubt it. Um, but maybe it will handle a little bit differently. Keep in mind, it weighs a little bit less and has a little less a little more, or not, eh, 20 less horsepower, 200 less pounds. Uh, so yeah, I guess we'll be able to see a difference there. Overall, it, it doesn't look as sleek and sporty as the N, um, but what do you expect? Are you gonna hear that turbo good? Oh, you can definitely tell it brakes much better than the N. It definitely breaks a lot better, uh, but then again, that is the weight difference. Oh, did you, did you hear that? Okay, this this turbo is nice to listen to. That turbo, I, I gotta, I gotta make a, make a dubstep remix of that turbo. Who knows? Maybe I'll put that in the intro. But yeah, this handles and brakes a lot better than the Velocer N. But I'm not going to keep repeating myself saying that it's the weight difference. But I can't stress that enough. So I kind of think that this would be better uh, than the Velocer N if you would make it A-Class. Because you have a little bit less PI to work with as long as you keep the weight down. Because, you know, in hot hatch racing, it's important for acceleration and braking and stuff. So, and this car has that, I, the acceleration's a lot better uh, with this than the Veloster N. It's gonna be close to see the times. I said, I think, I think the Veloster N is better stock, uh, but upgrade to A-Class, I think this car takes it. Yeah, we did get a, a lot worse time. But yeah, so that's that's my opinion on these cars. I really do think they're pretty good. Uh, who knows, maybe I'll upgrade one to A-Class and use it in hot hatch racing. I'm not sure. Uh, till then, guys, see you next time, and peace.